All right, so here we've got our keyboard. Um, we're gonna show you how to put the keyboard through a DI going into the system. So you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need your DI box, you're gonna need an instrument cable, and you're gonna need an XLR cable. So with the DI box, you're gonna make sure that there's a battery inside, and you're gonna turn it on. And you're gonna see the little flashing red light to make sure that it's on, right? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out of the keyboard, out of the keyboard, Ugh. just like that. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into the DI box, just like that. So this DI's got two inputs, one and two, separate ones. So we're gonna into the, out of the keyboard, into the DI box. Then, we're gonna take a cable out of the DI box into the desk. Yep, so now we're going out of the keyboard into the DI box. We're gonna plug this XLR into the same channel. And now, that's being connected to the desk um, and we should have our keyboard running through. Now, it's really important that you have uh, phantom power running to the DI box to give it power. Um, and when you're plugging out of the keyboard, you can almost always just go, even if it's a stereo keyboard like it is here, you can just go out of the left channel as a mono send into this thing. All right, now that your keyboard's plugged in, we're gonna plug this into our snake. So this is going to go, in this case, into channel five on the snake. Plug that in. We're gonna go over to our desk. We're gonna give it phantom power and we're gonna configure it so that the input is from the snake, not from the desk. So now that our DI is running into the snake on channel five, we're gonna go over to configure on our home channel. We're gonna choose the source as channel 21, A05. A05 is channel five on the snake. I'm gonna press select. And then to give it phantom power, we're gonna go back to the home page here. We're gonna press down on this keypad to go to our second, channel, second layer here. And see here where it says plus 48V. That's 48 volts for phantom power. We're gonna go, yes, we want phantom power. We're gonna boost the signal with phantom power. So plugging a guitar, a bass guitar, or an acoustic guitar into the system is the same as plugging in it into a, a DI as the keyboard. So for an acoustic guitar or a bass guitar, we're gonna plug it into the guitar, like so. And that's running to our DI box, which is running into our system. All right, so here we've got our SM57. Uh, this microphone is used for micing up a guitar amp and it's used for the snare drum as well. So for micing up a guitar amp, if the guitar is plugged into our amplifier, we're just gonna put the, the mic on a stand like this one and we're gonna put it in front of the speaker about a centimeter away from the speaker itself. Just like that. and then that's running through XLR. You just pl plug an XLR into here, which runs into our snake. All right, so here we've got our snare drum and our kick drum. Um, we're gonna use the SM57 on the snare drum. So there's two ways you can do this. You can, you can put it onto the, onto the clamp, <laughs> like so. We're gonna feed it through the clamp, like this. All right, so now we've got our clip on mic. And what we're gonna do on our snare is we're just gonna clip it onto the side of the snare like so. Yep. So now we've got that clipped on. We're gonna make sure that this is pointing towards the center of the snare with a little bit of gap. You don't want it to be too close to the snare. The other way we could do it is we could use a mic stand coming in from the side. And essentially the same thing, you just want it to be, you just want it to be, you know, just above the snare, pointing towards the center of the snare. And making sure that the drummer can't hit it as well. Just like that. All right, so here we got our kick drum. We're gonna use a D6 on this kick because it's got a low frequency, uh, frequency response. Um, there's two ways you can go about this one. You can either put the microphone straight into the hole 
or you can put it on a stand like this one in front of the kick drum. So first option is to just jam it in there, let it sit on the bottom of the kick drum floor. The second option is you put it on a clip like so, screw it on. We got some tunes, love it. And we're gonna put this in front of the kick drum. Just like that. And then we got kick. You just run it through the snake and then you're good to go. 